Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make sweet potato pie with a little bit of cream cheese in the Instant Pot. If you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. If you guys have been following me, then you know how I've made cheesecake before. So just go back to episode number 95 to refer back to how I made that crust. We're going to start off with a 15 ounce can of sweet potato. I bought the wrong kind. If you can get the pureed kind, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can do what I have to do and just kind of smash all these things together. Which you guys will also see, I'm going to end up showing you guys how I made things a little bit easier just by throwing it all into a food processor or a blender. If you guys have one of those, use that instead of doing this by hand. Now what I will be doing here is adding every single ingredient, one ingredient at a time, and then mixing it just to make sure that I thoroughly mix everything together. There are three eggs in this whole entire process, so one egg at a time is what I am doing. So again, one ingredient, mix everything up together, give it a good mix, make sure everything has been fully combined into the entire dish, and then go ahead and add another ingredient right into it, doing the exact same method over and over and over again. After the eggs, you see that I've added my vanilla extract right into it. Next, I went ahead and added my cinnamon, one teaspoon of that, again, mixing as I go. And then I'm gonna grab a half a teaspoon of cloves and throw that right in and do the exact same thing all over again. Now here's where things didn't really work out for me, so this is why I'm telling you guys, go ahead and throw it into a blender if you can, because we want this to be a smooth puree type of filling right into our pie crust. Even though I did leave the cream cheese out to soften, it was not gonna work out. So I threw everything right into the blender and I let it go for a few minutes just to make sure that it is just nicely pureed, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and open this right up and show you guys how smooth everything looks once it's been blended. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And once you have it blended to the cons consistency that you would like, go ahead and throw it right on top of your pie crust. Make sure you get every little bit of that. You don't want to waste any of the hard work that you've just put into this and shake out your pan to smooth it out a little bit. Now again, refer back to episode 95 if you guys need to, but we are going to try to trap, well not trap, we're gonna, we don't want extra moisture inside of our pie. So we're gonna put the napkin right on top. We're gonna cover it with foil all the way around. Go ahead and make your extra long sleeve so that you can use that as your carrier to help you pick it up in and out of the Instant Pot so that it's not gonna be too hot for you to touch. Make sure it's centered so you don't have it lopsided or falling out or whatever else it is because you wanna make sure it's cooked nice and evenly right inside of your pot. I did add one and a half cups of water in the bottom of my Instant Pot as well as my egg holder thingy so you can put that right on top so it doesn't get any more moisture inside of your pie pan. From here, we're just gonna put it on high pressure and cook this at 35 minutes, making sure your vent is closed while you are doing this. Once you're down to the last minute here, we're not gonna do anything else while it turns off. We are gonna let it natural release, meaning don't touch that knob in the back to vent it, and let it go by itself for 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is up, carefully pull it out using your sleeves right there. Put it somewhere, you know, where it's safe and it doesn't burn anything else and go ahead and remove the foil and the napkin inside of this underneath. Once everything is removed, go ahead and grab your mini marshmallows. Add as much or as little as you'd like right on top of that because we're gonna be broiling that for a few minutes in just a little bit. I think I probably use a little under two cups of marshmallows, maybe one and a half cups, I'm not really sure. Again, this is your preference up to you, however much or little it is that you would like right on top of your pie. Once you have that done, carefully move this into your oven or your convection oven, which is what I'm using here. And we're gonna broil it for just one to two minutes. Keep an eye on this because you don't want the marshmallows to burn. And that's it. I hope you all have a happy holiday and if you guys like this recipe, please hit that like and subscribe button. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.